Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. We've been discussing, or I've been discussing, no, we've been discussing the Sony A6700. You guys have had some great feedback. I say 6700, as I mentioned in the video, it's not out, it's not announced. It's what I would expect would probably be the name of the successor to the 6500 or maybe even a camera just a little bit above the 6500 because there's been some good debate from you guys on in the comments uh, whether or not we'll just see a Mark II of the 6500 and then we'll see a camera above it, maybe more of a pro-level APS-C camera that maybe would be the 6700. Dunny Monster wrote in the comments, No doubt Sony will capitalize further to stick the knife in deeper into Canon and Nikon with their next APS-C offering. The A7 III was a look at things to come. The ball is rolling and soon it'll be out of control, lol. If Sony only added a very angle screen, a Z-type, Z-type battery, and dual card slots to the current A6500, that would probably be enough for most people, in my opinion. Emir Arya writes in and says, if uh, 6700 price is beyond the 6500, they're not going anywhere. I prefer Sony release newer f uh, form of a 5100. Cheapest one with an update like a mic jack 4K, IBIS, slog, uh, S-Log, etc. with price under $1,000. Stop doing camera updates just for pros. We need a better camera for traveling and hobbies, etc. That's an interesting point. We probably wouldn't want to see the 6700 uh, at a higher price point, unless perhaps it was, as I was just saying, maybe we get a 65 Mark II and the 67 is a, a big shot above. Um, but good points. Um, Theory 8 SF says, I believe the Sony A66 or A6700, whatever you want to call it, will have a fully articulated screen, 4K at 60 frames per second, a stacked BSI 24 megapixel sensor, a Z battery like the Sony A7 III, slightly larger body with a larger screen, and more points with better autofocus. That right there... Between that and what Dunny said, I think is basically the key to um, a successful 6700. The Z-Type battery, um, a fully articulated screen, I think that's important. 4K, 60 frames per second. The stacked BSI 24 megapixel sensor is fine. It'll be better performer than the 6500, which is already great. Uh, if we got dual card slots, that would be awesome. If you packed all that in with 6700, I think that would be a really good seller. So my question is, between Dunny and Theory 8, uh, do we have the specs that's needed for 6700? Would you folks, would all, would let, let's get sample you, you viewers out there in viewer land. Would you guys be happy with a 6700 spec that way? Would you buy it? Would that, would that be enough? Is there something more it needs? I think that's a pretty well-specced 67. Uh, but I'm curious to see what you guys have to say. I think Dunny and Theory nailed it. But... Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Let's discuss it some more. Let's discuss what you think the 6700 needs to be. Is there something that they've left out that still needs to be in it? Um, how important is the price point? Let's discuss it some more. Uh, I think it's going to be a, uh, an interesting camera. I think people are very interested in it. The video had a lot of views. Um, and uh, I think it's always fun to speculate, to discuss, um, to discuss what we want in these coming cameras. So uh, looking forward to hearing what you guys have to say. Thanks, Donnie. Thanks, Theory, for your feedback. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.